that you think about as a macronutrient. It's like a, it's like a dietary nutritional supplement that's really important. Now you can get fat from fish, okay, and there's certain protein products that you're going to eat that have a high fat content in it that will count as fat. We'll get into that in a little bit. There's what we call the PF foods, something that's kind of a hybrid. That'd be like a bacon. That would be like a, a salami or like a, you know, a, a fatty, fatty fish. Ice cream. Egg yolks. Yolks. Yolks are, yeah, so eggs are actually also on the, the line because they're protein and fat. So yeah, the, the yolk of an egg would have healthy fats, quality fats in it, and protein. Chia. Yeah. By the way, can I just, just say, I'm tired of feeling the need to say healthy fats uh, because it's just been like this term that we like, you got to say, otherwise it freaks people out. It's like fat, and they're like, no, it's bad. Oh, they're healthy fats. Fats, healthy just, in, just across the board, and we can start talking more specifically about like omega-6 versus omega-3, and, and there's some health issues there, but can we all just agree, fat is, is healthy, it's good for us, and if, we, if we're not there yet, then let's talk about it, okay? So Marcus, what about deli meats and like canned fish, tuna or salmon? Yeah, that's a fish, that's a meat. Is it healthy? So, sodium, is that a macronutrient or a micronutrient? Micro. Micro, okay. So, I'm going to make the argument that if we focus all of our energy and attention for the next eight weeks on macro nutrients, getting optimal balance in macronutrients, okay, with a few key supplementation things, all right, but mainly we're just really here, and then the micro thing we're going to kind of just leave off to the side. And if while doing the macro conversation, we aim for the highest quality stuff possible, I'm going to argue that this argument or this thing over here is not going to be a factor. Okay, and that matter of fact, if you get great macronutrient combinations in your meals, good ratios. And it comes from quality sources. Now, what's better, fresh fish or a can of tuna? Fresh. Yeah, so if you're aiming for the highest quality, right? And is it farmed or is it wild? Yeah, it's wild, right? You caught it out of the, you know, whatever, the beautiful oceans of some place that's not polluted. Right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Then you're really, you're, you're, you're doing great because that means that this stuff's getting taken care of. Now, if you're going over to Walgreens and getting some awesome iron turkey before the 6 p.m. class because you're about to bring your dinner, okay? You're not winning very well right there, right? You're kind of low on the quality scheme. But no, I'm, again, we're focusing on macronutrients. Question? Well, the one thing I was going to say about that too with lunch meats and stuff, the, the lower quality, like even salami, who knew until you have a kid that can't have dairy that there's milk in salami if yeah. you. If, unless you buy a really good quality. Yeah, so, great point. You guys, before we all start jumping on tangents, we've got to keep focus here. Uh, if anything, you're going to come away from this understanding and knowing what you're putting in your body better than ever. Because you're going to be like, oh, can I even eat that? Let me look at the label. Let me read it. Oh, it's got milk in it, right? Because milk is not on the list. Okay, so I can't have that. Or it's got dextrose. What the heck is dextrose? Oh, that's sugar. Why is there sugar in my whatever? I can't eat that. Okay, so you start to play like you become an investigator. You like learn what you're eating, and you and you know what's going into your body, and and that, if anything, is like an ultimate win that you get out of this. Okay, it's just being conscious. All right. So these fat sources are awesome. A couple of them, actually, really one, the nuts thing. All right, we put a limit on the number of nuts that you guys can have per day as a fat source or as just um, as an option for food. And the reason for this is just from doing enough of these uh, things and coaching enough people around this type of lifestyle and nutrition habits, these are super convenient and therefore people overutilize them as a snack source, all right? And there's a problem with eating a diet way too high in, in, in nuts, and that is that thing I alluded to, which is 
your omega-6 fatty acid concentration relative to your omega-3 fatty acid uh, intake gets out of balance and it can lead to some issues that we don't want. Can also be uh, irritating to eat too many of those things to the, uh, the digestion. All right, so we just put a limit on this to kind of this is to protect you, okay? Because too many people have gone through this and been like, I'm eating, I'm eating, and all these things you said. I'm like, what are you eating? They're like, well, I got my bag of Trader Joe's almonds that I just rack on all day, and I got the you know dried mangoes because it's fruit, right? It's good. So you know how that can go and and work. All right, Is cream, cream allowed? Yes, so uh, cream, full cream, thank you. Full cream, heavy cream, manufacturing cream, um, whatever they call it, not half and half. That is allowed, okay? As it's got a flavor. What's that? As a dessert or just in your <laughs> You choose. <laughs> yeah, I mean, some fresh berries with some whipped non-sweetened cream is great. Now, if you're throwing in a whole, you know, tablespoon or two of sugar, then we got to get to that carbs. So, what are carb sources, guys? Sugar. So, sh <laughs> sugar. <laughs> Is that the same fruit. person that said that? No. Veggies, sugar, fruit, fruit, fruit. potatoes. Okay. Uh, Red. Potatoes. Pasta. Bread. Pasta. Rice. Rice. Bread. 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 White, white rice, uh, buckwheat. I heard something else in there, but I, rice, just rice in general. Yeah, like brown rice. Oh, brown is better. <laughs> what else? Wild rice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Was that you, Mark? Oh yeah, day three, baby. It's tough. Wine. Wine. <laughs> Wine is a whole separate category, we're going to call that alcohol. <laughs> and it's not going to be like off limits, but we're going to make some restrictions on that. Anything else? Yeah, oh, sweet yeah. potatoes and yams over there. Oatmeal. Mm -hmm. So potatoes, we're going to say that the sweet and the yam varieties are going to be over here, and then the other varieties we're going to, we're going to leave on this side. Anybody else? All right, so again, because I already drew that awesome graph, I don't really need to go into too much detail other than to say that this stuff optimizes that hormone signaling better than any of this stuff. And as a matter of fact, if I were to like kind of pinpoint the biggest issue that we have going on in our nutrition, uh, our diets, our way of living, it is that this stuff is far too pervasive in the diet, and if this is in your diet, it's negating all the other good stuff that you might be doing, okay? Because this is where 99%, I think, of the problems people experience in their food exist. This is also probably why you're gonna have that big dip at the beginning, okay? It's the most difficult thing to overcome. The only way you can overcome this successfully is if you really focus on this, if you miss this and you cut that, you're like doomed. Don't even try, okay? <laughs> Stay home and don't go to work. <laughs> you're gonna be a grump. What about corn? Corn is unfortunately on this side. I think you knew that, but thanks for pointing that out there. Corn is kind of, uh, it's not a great crop in, in, this, in, the, in the United States. Uh, it's been altered from probably its original form too much. It doesn't resemble a vegetable anymore. It resembles more of a grain. So this is all grains over here. That wasn't good. Is there a certain kind of veggies that are on the other side? Or are they all no. I haven't found one yet, but I don't like it. Fruit, kind of like nuts, okay? There's got to be some uh, guidelines as to what you should, how much you should be having. I love fruit. I think it's super healthy. I think there's great, you know, qualities to it, especially if you're getting good quality fruit. You're really getting great micronutrients from it too. Right. However, how easy is it to just grab a, a piece of fruit and go? Much easier than...